Welcome to the Loner Ranger Radio Show. My name is Bruce Woodburn, Cross Country Mortgage. This is a show where we talk about how to buy a house, how to save the most amount of money, how to refinance a house and save money. But the theme today is going to be how we can get into a house if you are a first-time home buyer or you want to get into a low down payment and purchase a home. So the theme today is getting into your first home. I'm committed to helping every one of you that may be renting right now get into a home by New Year's, okay? We're in November. It's a, it's not even the middle of November yet. It's time I could still get you into home by the end of the year. Now, why wouldn't you want to make 2022 the year that you become a homeowner? So what I did today is something very special for my listeners out there, okay? I got a special guest in the house with me today, and his name is Chase Woodburn. Chase, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me again. So Chase is my son. He's also a loan officer on my team. He's been a, How long have you been a loan officer on the team? Over a year now. Okay, been over a year, and uh, and you, he's doing great. He's doing great. But I brought him on the show because he also became a homeowner. Yes. So, and I want you to speak up a little bit so all people right. can hear you. All right. So, what? When did you become a homeowner? I became a homeowner in uh, June of last year. Okay. So June of last year, you bought your first home. Yes. And before you bought your home. What what helped you or what made you decide, first of all, to become a homeowner? Why did you decide to become a homeowner? Well, that's that's a great, great question. So there was a couple factors that went into that. The first factor was um, I could not stand giving my money to my landlord every month. It was it was a, a nightmare going through that and just watching my money bleed. So that was the first thing. That was my first big reason. The second big reason was that really the writing was on the wall for the rental market. And so I knew it was going to skyrocket. And what was the most important thing to me was making sure that my monthly expenses were stabilized and in my control. Oh, so being a renter, your in your monthly expenses aren't stable. They're not stable. And you see horror stories of people's rent going up a thousand dollars. Yeah. And right now there's a shortage of rental properties. So what do you think landlords are doing? Oh, they're price gouging. They're there's price no gouging, but they're but they can get it, right? right? They can get it. So why wouldn't you get it? I mean, people are not in the business of owning real estate as a charity event. Right. They're in the business of making money with real estate. And you can't tell me if the profits aren't there that you're not going to charge it. Yeah, you can't fault someone for that. You can't fault someone. That would be like me saying, hey, look at, you know, you're worth $50,000 a year, but you know what? I'd like to see you work for twenty five. dollars You're not going to do it. You want to get the money that you can in your job. You want to get the money you can in your investments. And if you were investing in a 401k and you were interviewing financial planners and one said, I can get you four and a half, and the other says, I can get you... 20%, which one are you going with? Going with the better option. Doesn't, does, it's not, doesn't take rocket science. So you decided you didn't want to own because you, you wanted to put the money in your pocket. Right. And then when it came down to searching what type of loan program would meet your needs, because at that point, you weren't even a loan officer. You were just becoming a yeah, loan officer. I think you were an assistant on my team. Correct, yes. So... Like your income wasn't really high. No, it was okay? not particularly. And I'm not, I'm a little embarrassed to say that, but I'm not really that embarrassed. Okay. But your income wasn't really high. Right. So you were entry level. You were just getting started in the business. So was that a struggle? Like, did you have some challenges on how to really balance how much house you could afford? That was a bit of a challenge. There's, there's no doubt about that. Um, the good news is, is that there really are a lot of avenues that you can use to extract as much income that you that you can get as, as, as possible. Tell me what you mean by that. So um, in the program I used, uh, we've talked about it before, it's called Home Ready with okay. Fannie Mae. Uh, it's a 3% down program. And they have a really unique uh, income category called border income, okay. which is excellent if you have roommates uh, that you're renting with. Okay. So what I was able to do is it goes up to a certain percentage of your income 
uh, that you can you can essentially subsidize and stipend with the rent that uh, another individual is paying you. Now, but they have to pay you, and then you pay your landlord. Correct. They can't pay it directly to your landlord, and then you include that as border income. Right. Right. So right. there is a definite limitation on it. How and long did you have to verify that that money was going into your account? So they want twelve months of verification. The loophole for that is that if you've been doing it for nine months, you can average it over 12 months. Okay. All right. So that helped you to qualify for more house. That's it. Correct. All right. And you researched and you thought that you felt that the Fannie Mae home ready program, 3% down allowed you the best opportunity in your case. Now, what advantages other than using border income were there for that? And 3% down. Right. So aside from 3%, which there is a Fannie Mae 3% down program, um, it has a, a standard 3%, a standard 3% not 3% the Home Ready. Program. Correct. So it has the Fannie Mae program, the Home Ready, has superior mortgage insurance. Okay. You are you have mortgage insurance like someone's putting 15% down. Okay. So your PMI, your PMI is lower on that program if you fit into that category because you were a first-time home buyer. Were there income limitations on yes. that? So there's certain amount of income you can make to qualify for correct, that. Correct. Okay. And if you exceed, I think it's what, 54? It's it's 80% of your area median income. Fannie Mae has a really handy lookup tool. It varies by county to county, by borough to borough. But, but generally, generally, you're around $50,000. Around $50,000. So all of my listeners out there that goes, I can't find a house for fifty grand. there is no possible way. But I can find a house... Or 325. What other options are there? And by the way, I want to give out my phone number and I want you to know I can connect you directly with Chase. He's an expert on low down payment first time home buyers. 407 706 3313. Write that number down. If you have adult children, if you are a renter, if you have adult grandchildren, write down this number, 407-706-3313, or go directly to my website at webringyouhome.com. Now, if you apply online there, it's going to go to me, it's going to go to my team. If you're looking for that special program, make sure you ask for Chase. He's an expert in that field. Now, all my team's an expert in that field, but you are an expert and have actually done it. Yeah, So I've, I've been on both sides. So what if you... What if you may need income of say eighty thousand to buy a three hundred twenty five thousand dollars house? What other options are there? Well, and that's the good news is that the three percent down standard uh, Fannie Mae program does not have an income limit. You just have to be a first time home buyer. Okay, one of you have to be a first time home Correct. buyer. If there's two people on the loan, only one has to be a first time home buyer. Okay, so that program is. Awesome because it's three percent down. You have a maximum debt ratio of about fifty percent, right? But your credit scores they like to see they like to see nice credit. They scores. like to see yes in the seven hundreds. Correct. Yeah, they want you to be comfortably in the seven hundreds for those programs, especially right now. And that's not even a Fannie Mae requirement as much as it is the market we're seeing with mortgage insurance. Right. So. If that market changes in mortgage insurance, it's really not Fannie Mae that's having the flexibility issue. No, it's it's the PMI Correct. companies. Okay, so now let's just move in to another option. Let's just say, you know what, Chase, I don't have a 725 credit score. I got a 680 credit score. A lot of I got do. a 660 credit score. Okay, can somebody still buy at that? Yeah, of course. So... There's another program, uh, a lot of people do it, and it was actually another program that I was looking at, and that's your your standard issue FHA purchase. It's half of a percent more, Okay. so it's 3.5% down. Okay. Um, the good thing about that is that, you know, the mortgage insurance is is hard baked into it. It's a function of the loan. Okay, it's so not, you have mortgage insurance, but you're yeah. only putting 3.5% you're down. You're only putting 3% down. And it'll allow you flexible credit scores. Definitely. And are the debt ratios still pretty strict at that at 45, maybe 50? The ratios go up to around 55. So you have okay. almost 5% more. So you can rate. squeeze a little bit more out of that if right. you don't quite have the income. So it's more flexible on credit scores and it's more flexible on income. Correct. Okay. 
All right, so I'm liking this because I think a lot of first-time home buyers haven't had the time or haven't established that credit right. to where they've got that type of experience behind them. So let's just say right now, because I'm finding houses really closer to 300, 325, but you decided last year to buy a home and you paid how much for your house? I paid two hundred and forty-five thousand. How big is that house? It's about thirteen hundred square feet. How many bedroom and bathroom is it? It's a three bed, two bath. Three bedroom, two bath with a two car garage. With a two car garage, and it's your own house. It's my house. And it's not a town home. Nope. It's not a condo. Single family. It's baby. a single family home. And you got a and you back up to a, a green, uh, I, yep. a green strip of some kind. Yeah. Right so there, right? I I I've got a nature reserve on my left. And I've got a guy that doesn't really, he doesn't even, I don't even think he knows he owns it behind me. So I've got undeveloped land That's behind That's crazy. Me. And you're at a, on a cul-de-sac. End of a cul-de-sac. So that's, that's pretty cool. So, and, and it's, it's a great, uh, it's a great uh, moderate income first home. That's great. Right? It's perfect. All right. And it suits you well. And you've got two roommates, or you have one now? I have or, two roommates You have right two now. roommates that are helping you pay your mortgage. Correct. Pay. You mind if I ask you how much they're paying each? They're paying, uh, I split the mortgage uh, clean in three. So we pay $450 a month each. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's insane. Okay. Now, you paid how much for it? 245 And how much is it worth? Like just out of curiosity, because it was a little over a year ago, a year and but five yeah, months, four like months. That. Yeah. So my estimates uh, that I'm getting from the various different companies that calculate it, I'll place it pretty squarely around three hundred and ten thousand dollars. Three hundred and ten thousand. So three hundred. Let's just put this in perspective. You paid two fifty. Correct. Two forty five. Two forty five. With a seller concession. And, and a seller. How much did the seller pay? Five grand. Seller paid five grand. Okay. People tell people go, you can't get a seller to pay anything anymore. Seller paid five grand, bought it for two forty five, and it's worth three ten right now. Yes. So you've made sixty seven thousand sixty seven thousand dollars. Plus the amount plus the seven grand, you really have to take that into consideration right. because it was less money, but you made sixty seven thousand dollars in about fourteen months fifteen months. Yeah, fifteen, sixteen months. Okay. All right. So now if that doesn't encourage you to become a homeowner, I don't know what would, I don't know what it's going to take, but I'm going to tell you something. There's no such thing as a rich renter for all of you that are renting right now. I'm committed to helping you get into a home by new year's. You can do it right now. So I want to do some numbers here real quick, and then I'm going to dive in a little bit deeper in the next segment, but let's just say we have a $325,000 house, okay? Right. And if you were to get a conventional 3% down program, you are going to have a down payment of just under $10,000, 9750. All right. If you were FHA, it'd be 11375, call it 114, okay? Now, you'd still have to pay closing costs and prepaids on top of that. Right. But if we get a seller on an FHA loan to pick up six grand, six grand in closing costs. I just want to put this all in perspective for you. So actually $7,000. We'll get the seller to pick up seven on a 325 house. You're into a house for 13.5, 13.6. Crazy. 13.5. Now, here's, what, here's why I'm telling you guys this, because a lot of my audience, Chase, we're a little bit more mature, Okay. We're, there, there are some young folks that listen to this, but my audience tends to be more mature. So you might be a parent with adult children. You might be a grandparent with adult grandchildren. If you were, can, matter of fact, can you give a gift for a down payment on a piece of real estate? Yes. You can do the whole, the whole thing. The whole thing. So if grandma or mom and dad, grandpa or mom and dad gave you a gift, of say fourteen grand, mm -hmm. I could get you into a three hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar house. I don't need a dime of your own money. You don't need any of my own money. Nope. You just got to have the income to qualify. So here's what I did. I happened to put some numbers together that I thought were pretty cool. But what I need to do is come back from the next break, and we're going to go over payments. We're going to go how to get you into that house. We'll be back in five minutes. 
Welcome to the Loner Ranger Radio Show. My name is Bruce Woodburn, and I've got a very special guest here with me today, my son, Chase Woodburn. Why I bring my son on here is because this guy is an expert on helping families as a first-time home buyer. He's one himself. He bought a home last year. We talked about it in the last segment. Bought it for two forty-five. dollars It's already worth three ten. dollars Made $65,000, actually more than that, and got the seller to pick up some closing costs. So, Chase, in the last segment, we are talking about the type of loan you got, 3% down. We're now talking about an FHA loan. So, you could have marginal credit on this, right? Right, yeah. Now, What's the lowest credit score that, I mean, what's FHA's limit on a credit score? FHA doesn't really have a limit. They don't have a limit. Yeah. So now, obviously, if you get below 580, you have to put more money down, Correct. right? Correct. So, but you can still get a loan below 580. You can. Now, a lot of lenders won't touch you under 640. Some might go for 620. What's our credit score limit at cross country? Whatever will pass. Well, you don't have a credit score limit, right? If yeah. you're good enough to get a loan, we're going to get you a loan. But let's just assume we're over 600, maybe even 680. Not right. a great score, but a good score. A good solid score. A good solid score for FHA. So we we want to buy a home. We can't find one under 320, but we don't have $20,000 to put down. Right. So we want to put down three and a half percent, which would be about eleven three, eleven four. But then we have closing costs and prepaids, which bring me back up to eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars. Right. What do we do? Get the seller to pick up some of it. Well, but I thought sellers weren't paying any money in this market. Well, sometimes you can get away with it. Well, I tell you what, when you call the loan arranger and you get us on the phone, I will fight to help you get a seller concession. So I'm going to tell you, people tell me it can't be done. We do it all the time here, yeah, don't we? We, we do. do it all the time. So uh, my theme today is to help first time home buyers get into a home by New Year's. We can do it. You got to get started right now. You go to my website at webringyouhome.com. That's webringyouhome.com or call me at 407-706-3313. So what we're going to do Let's just say we got a 325 house. We're going to get the seller to pick up seven grand. So you need about 13.5, 13.6 out of pocket. If you are an adult with adult children, you want to help them out with a gift, you can do 100% gift, right? 100% gift. And you can do that on conventional 100% gift. Yes. No money of your own out of pocket. You can do it all as a gift. What a great gift. Did your dad give you a gift when you bought your first home? gave me a housewarming gift he gave you he didn't pay you he didn't pay your down payment i i saved up you say you know what it's funny because people look at me and go you must have really helped your son out my son saved his own money my son actually i both of my kids had to pay half to buy their own cars yeah right Mm -hmm. so dad didn't pay for all your car did he no no i paid for half the car then he turned around kept it for two years and sold it and made a profit that's what my kids do. All right. So now we're going to buy a 325 house. You need about 135 to get into the home. Now, including taxes, insurance, and mortgage insurance, you can have a payment of around 2100 20, 21, 2150 a month. Right. What would it cost you for a 3 2 right now? A 3 2 right now uh, to rent. To rent. Uh, one in my neighborhood, in fact. Uh, is going for almost twenty three hundred dollars right now. Twenty three hundred bucks a month, and is that apt to go up? Oh, certainly, it's yeah. going up. Why would it go up? It's because the market's demanding it. There's a shortage of rental property. Right. It's going to go up for sure. Of course, and and people are saying the same thing about the housing market. They're saying, well, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. It's a hostile market. If you think the housing market for purchasing is bad right now. You should see the rental market. Get into a home now. You're wasting your money renting a home. Call me. I'll connect you with Chase. He's an expert on helping first-time home buyers. He knows all the tricks of the trade. 407-706-3313. That's 407-706-3313. I even calculated how much income and debts you need. We're going to come back in a minute. I'm going to show you how to get into that house and help your family get into that house. Be back in five minutes.
I don't know what's happened. That is on the call with me today, on the show with me today. You just call me at 407-706-3313. That's 407-706-3313. Or you can apply online. It's the easiest website ever. Go to webringyouhome.com. That's webringyouhome.com. Super easy. Apply there. It'll even tell you what documents to download. And then Chase or one of my other loan officers will get on the phone with you, make sure they button it all down so it's super easy. Today, I'm talking to Chase Woodburn, my son, who is a licensed loan officer on my team and an expert at first-time home buyers. Why? Because he does it, he did it himself, and he's helping lots of folks become first-time home buyer. And then you're teaching them the LeapFrog program so they can go into the next house and the next house and the next house. Correct. So, we talked a little bit in the last segment about conventional 3% down, right? And how, how, what benefits there are to that. Some tricks that you know on how to use border income and some other things right. that are available. Then FHA, because maybe your credit scores weren't as great as they, they could have been. Working on your so credit. So they're, they're marginal. You're working on your credit. Maybe your debt ratio is a little high because you're young. You don't have a lot of income. Right. So your debt ratios may be a little bit high. But you're tired of renting. Right. You want to get into a home. So we picked a $325,000 house. With 3.5% down, you need about 13.5, 13.6 to get into house if the seller paid closing costs. Otherwise, you're going to need eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars $19,000 to get in that house. Right. Right? Including your closing costs and all your escrows. But a lot of folks that are young don't have that kind of money. Yeah, that's hard. And they can't get their parents to give them that kind of money. Right. So we can get a gift. And all, if we got the seller to pay 7000 we can get somebody into that house, into a 325 house for about 13.5, right? Yep. That puts your payments, including taxes, insurance, and mortgage insurance, everything. So we included everything except for an HOA fee, right? The whole kit and caboodle. And that is at the highest interest rate that we're doing on FHA loans right now. What interest rate is the highest rate we do right now for anybody right now on FHA? 3.625. Pretty darn attractive, I got to say. So you could have a 620, 680, you know, and you can get an FHA loan for 3.5% down and and you're and you're only paying 3.625. That's unheard of. It's crazy. But we can do it. We're doing it and we're closing them all the time. Now, I want to encourage folks because today's theme is get into a house by New Year's. Look, it, you've been talking about it for a lot of years out there, you guys. And there's no such thing as a rich renter. You're not going to get rich. You're going to keep getting poor because landlords are raising their rents faster than the price of houses are going up. Why? Because the prices of houses are going up. So there's a greater demand for renters. And when there's a greater demand for renters, they're going to raise their price. It just makes sense. It's common economics. Supply and demand. It's supply and demand, baby. So we want to help you get into a home. I want you to stop the car, stop the lawnmower, pull over the vacuum cleaner, write down this phone number, 407-706-3313, 407-706-3313, or webringyouhome.com. That's the easiest website ever to apply for a loan. Webringyouhome.com. Now, I want to appeal to adults that have adult children that should be renting. We're going to get those Christmas turkeys out of the nest, okay? We're going to get those Thanksgiving turkeys out of the nest and into their own home. How do you do that? You give them a gift. Is it, a, is it, is it legal to give a gift for a down payment on a house? Yes. Is it, does it meet program guidelines? It does. So we can give a gift, but does it have to be documented? It does. It has to be documented. So on a conventional loan, I need the donor's bank statements, and they got to sign a gift letter. You actually don't even need the bank statements for the donor on conventional. That's FHA. That's right. Only on FHA. On conventional, I don't. I just need the gift letter and a legitimate transfer of the funds. Right. Like okay. a wire transfer. Or wire transfer, like right? That. We'll show you how to do that. Don't move money into your kid's account to help them. But here's what I want to appeal to. Adults that have adult children, come on, you're going to leave them your money anyway. One day you're going to leave them something. Why not leave them a gift now that will grow? Chase bought a house a year ago in June, bought it for two forty five. dollars It's now worth three ten. dollars He's made $65,000 in 15 months. 
Why not turn your thirteen five into sixty five thousand dollars in the next thirteen months? Where else can like if if you just here's what's going to happen? These people li- listening here are going to leave their children an inheritance. Right. You know what they're going to do with it, Chase? They're going to spend it. They're going to buy a Boston Whaler. <laughs> they're going to buy a Harley. They're going to buy a George Foreman grill. And they're going to buy an 80-inch screen TV. Yep. And guess what? All of those things are going to do what in value? Depreciate. You're decrease. going to depreciate. So you don't buy real estate and it depreciates. Now, that don't don't call me up and say I want to buy a mobile home because they can depreciate. Oh, yeah. But all way. other property don't depreciate. They appreciate. And they're appreciating rapidly right now. So why not put your hard-earned inheritance into a gift right now? The good news is, is I can add you to the deed, grandma and grandpa, mom and dad that have adult children. Listen to me. I can add you to the deed so your children can never go out and refinance the house and pull all that equity out. We'll protect you from that. But what a gift that you would give to help your kids get into a home of their own it's uh, to me, it's a no brainer. Oh yeah. It's an absolute no brainer. You're going to take them out of the rental market. Once you own a home, you're never going to rent again. Oh, of course. You're not, not going to rent again. There's no reason to rent again. You're making money. Every time you make a payment, it goes into your equity bank. So right now we're looking at a scenario of about $325,000. Okay. Your payments about 21, 21 50 a month. Your total out of pocket after we negotiate with the seller and you call me, you need a realtor that'll negotiate for you. I'll get your realtor that'll negotiate those closing costs. Don't let anybody tell you they don't do that. And if your realtor is not fighting for closing costs for you and saying, oh, it doesn't happen in this market, call me. I will fix that problem for you right away. 407-706-3313. 407-706-3313. Now, we're talking about getting into a home. 320 payments around three uh, uh, 2150 cash out of pocket about 135 with the seller paying seven grand but chase there's other programs too there's a lot there's other programs that are even less money out of pocket than that there are yeah there are there's a lot of programs like that okay so one popular program what if you're a veteran it's no money it's, it's a no-brainer so that's a no-brainer if you're a veteran and you don't own a home stop the car stop the f-150 hit your head against the steering wheel two or three times pretty good and hard don't knock yourself out and then call me at 407-706-3313 i'm the loan arranger you can call me. I will help you. My team will help you. Go to webringyouhome.com. We will help you get into a home by New Year's. But if you're not a veteran and you don't have a lot of money, but you're willing to live outside the city, right? Right? Into some rural areas, maybe Osceola County, maybe Lake County, somewhere a, a little, not in the boonies, no, but, but just to, you know, the, the greater Orlando area. And, and here's the thing. Since COVID, a lot of people can work remote right now. Oh, a lot. So as long as they have the interweb, it don't matter where you live. Right. Right? Exactly. You know what the interweb is, don't you? I do. I've dabbled a couple times. You have? Yeah. Yeah. I just want to make sure you knew what I was talking about there. Yeah. Because that's some high-tech terminology we're using it is. here. It's very technical. It's, <laughs> it is. So, but we're going to help. If you, could, if, you go, if you are buying in that area, what other program might work for you? First thing, USDA. USDA rural housing used to be called farmer's home loan. How much is the down payment? Zero. Zilch. Not a zero down payment. Okay. Now you got to have decent scores. Yeah. Like 645, 650. Yeah. You've got to, you've got to definitely have some. And you have to have a lower debt ratio, about 43% maximum. Right. Okay. You're not getting into no 55% debt ratio on a USDA. But if you have the income, but you don't have a lot of assets, you can get into a USDA transaction and it just has to be located in a geographically approved area. How do you find out if a, a particular home is located in that geographical area? USDA has a handy dandy look. But doing. what's the easiest way for them to go? We bring you home.com. Yeah. My website takes you right to it. It does. All you have to do is plug in you. We bring you home.com. Go to my loan programs page. Yep. Look up USDA. It's right there, and it gives you a direct link. Exactly. And you can plug in the property address, and it'll go eligible or ineligible. Yep. 
easy enough, right? And, and then you can look at the map. You don't even need to know if you have a general idea of where you want to be. You can just look at that map and you can say, I want a home right about here. You can cross-reference that with, with what your MLS. You can do whatever. And then we'll hook you up with a real estate agent in that area that's going to negotiate hard for you. Because you need the negotiation. Because then even though it's no down payment, it's not no closing costs. So your closing costs on a USDA loan at 325000 would run you five grand. Oh yeah. Right. And then about another twenty five to three thousand in escrows. So you're into it for eighty five hundred bucks. Right. But you don't have eighty five hundred bucks. No. Nope. You only got about five grand. Right? Maybe three grand. But we can we can get the seller, we'll negotiate, the seller picks up some closing costs. So if the seller paid seven grand, you're into the house for maybe fifteen hundred, twenty five hundred bucks. That's your rent right there. That's one month. That's one month. And if you close if we get you approved now and you close in December, when's your first payment due? It's like two months out. Yeah, so you don't have a January payment. No. You don't have a payment till February. Right. There's your twenty five hundred bucks. That's that's uh, you're getting into a house for what you'd put down on a security deposit. It's ridiculous. Right there. There's no reason to rent right now. Uh, listen, you guys got to listen to me. I want to help your family members. We know all of the programs that are available for you. We know how to navigate the system. We know how to get you the best deal. We know how to get you the best interest rate. Don't, don't keep renting. Become a homeowner now. Help a family member become a homeowner. You got the money. You can give them a gift of homeownership. It's got to be a gift. You can't give somebody a loan for nope, down payment. No borrowed funds. No borrowed funds. So all you got to do, how does somebody reach me? Easy. You can go reach the phone number. What's that number again? 407-706-3313. You know why? Because it's my cell phone number. So he knows the office number. So it, the cell phone number goes directly to my phone. 407-706-3313. How about going to the website? How do they apply online? Easy. There's a big old button right at the top of the website. It says apply now. At webringyouhome.com. It's webringyouhome.com. I bring Chase on here because he's young. How old are you? 23. He's 23 years old. He's owned a house for 15 months. He made $65,000 in his first year of owning the house. Now, did you expect that you were going to make that much money when you bought that oh, home? Oh, of course not. Not even close. Like if you made, if you went up five or 10 grand, it was better than renting. Oh, of course. How much were you paying for rent before that? Like for all your roommates combined? We had, we had a, a slum of a house for $2,000 a month. There you go. And only, it was only one more bedroom. And how much are houses in your neighborhood renting for right now? About twenty three hundred dollars. Twenty three hundred bucks a month, or I can get you into home for about twenty one, twenty two hundred dollars a month. And you're all every time you make a payment, it goes into your equity bank. It's a no brainer. And all you got to do is watch my mark. Once you close a loan with me, I hook you up on a program called HomeBot and it keeps you up to speed on what your values are doing. And you can play with it and go, hey, if I, what would it take to make a fifteen year payment? How much equity do I have right now? So it's really intuitive program that it keeps is. up. And it's not an appraisal. No. It doesn't give you an appraised value, but it gives you a close value based on like a Zillow or. Yeah, it, it, it factors recent sales the same way Zillow does. It's anything. called an AVM, yeah, right? Correct. So if you're interested in becoming a homeowner, you want to stop renting, okay? You want to stop renting and this is your year to do it. I can get you into home by New Year's. I'll get you into home by New Year's. Why let 2022 go by and you just keep renting? It's not going to make any sense. Your rent's going to go up more. Next thing you know, you're going to be living with mom and dad or grandma and grandpa. That's what's going to happen because your rents are going to go up and you didn't get in the game. Get in the game now. If you're renting, you are truly sitting on the sidelines of life. You are a tenant on the planet. Yeah. You're a tenant on the planet. You are. You don't even own the planet. You're a tenant. You're a renter. Let me help you fix that problem. It's easy to fix. I've got a team of experts here that will walk you through the process. All you got to do is call me at 407-706-3313 or go to webringyouhome.com. I'll be back in five minutes. And don't forget, the Lone Arranger is the sponsor for the K92 All-Star Jam. You listen to country music, K92 All-Star Jam. We'll be back in five minutes. Welcome back to the Lone Arranger Radio Show. My name is Bruce Woodburn, Cross Country Mortgage, the Lone Arranger, and I'm here in the studio today with Chase Woodburn, my son, talking about first time home buyer programs and how we can help you get into a home by New Year's. 
So we talked a lot about conventional 3% home ready program, a special program and FHA. Right. So we only got a couple minutes left in this segment. And uh, I want to, first of all, thank you for, for coming on the show with me. Thanks you have so me. much to bring to the table when it comes to helping folks like not only my first time home buyer folks, but all my clients, you are excellent loan officer and you are caring and you always put your clients needs first. And I appreciate you very much for that. Thank you. Okay. Now we were talking about our different low down payment loans. So we have VA zero USDA zero down payment right. two zero down payment loans. Great. Conventional 3% home ready, conventional regular 3% and FHA. Right. But you were mentioning to me during the break that there's one of the features you liked about the home ready program. Tell me about that. Yeah. So home ready, uh, as we talked about, has uh, over your normal 97 LTV conventional, has favorable rates, favorable. Okay, now, when we use acronyms here, and abbreviations, we got to make it, we got to break it down because right. we don't talk lender language, you talk people language. Correct. So your 3% down home ready yes. versus 3% down standard conventional okay. has more favorable rates, more favorable MI. Mortgage insurance. Mortgage insurance. Okay. Right. So what you can do. And Which will keep your payment lower. Keeps your payment lower. Okay. What you can do is you can leverage the lower rates on your home ready program to actually increase your interest rate a little bit okay, and get a rebate from Fannie Mae. Okay, so Fannie Mae doesn't pay the client directly. They right. pay me. They pay you. And okay, you so pay Fannie Mae is going to pay me like a bonus, right. we'll call it. But the client struggling to come up, maybe we couldn't get the 7000 in closing costs. Right. Fannie Mae will not let me pay the buyer's down payment. Correct. The buyer has to come up with their own down payment, but it could be a gift. We talked about that. Correct. A hundred percent gift. But you're saying, okay, let's say that the client couldn't negotiate or the realtor couldn't negotiate seven grand or six grand in closing costs. Right. Maybe they got two or three. Right. So our buyer is falling short a little bit of cash to close. Right. You're saying buy the rate up. That means increase your interest rate a little bit. Correct. And then I get a commission from Fannie Mae. And extend that to the client. And I give that to the client. Boom. How generous of us. That's very generous. Very philanthropic. Isn't very, it's very philanthropic. But you know what? That's what we're doing to help people get into houses. Now, that's not as easy to do on some transactions. Correct. Like, you, for instance, you can't say I want the best rate and I want the rebate in the same sentence. Right. You can say it, but you can't get it. Yeah, you got to compromise. But if you need a little bit of help from us, there are ways we can buy loans up and give rebates back. Correct. So some people, some lenders out there, Chase, advertise that they're paying closing costs. They're going to pay all your closing costs for you. That's all they're doing, That's right? That's what they're doing. They're just buying your rate up, getting a commission back, and passing it on to you. So we don't mind doing that, and we recommend doing that when you really need it. But if you're wanting the lowest interest rate to get the lowest payment, that may not be the avenue. Correct. What we do is analyze everybody's situation and case determine what's best for them, right? Case by case. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. Nobody's the same. Bananas and potatoes. That's it. That's what we got here. Thank you so much for joining me here on the show today, Chase. What a blast that was. That was. I had so much fun with you. Uh, don't forget, pick up the phone and call because you don't need to be a renter any longer. We're committed to getting you into home by New Year's. 407-706-3313. That's 407-706-3313. 3313 or we That's we bring you home.com. As easy as that. And folks, don't forget, you can give a gift to your kids. I'll show you how to do it. We'll see you next week. Enjoy your Sunday. <laughs>